Good morning everyone. This is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Guys, I wanted to share uh, what I have inside my uh, typewriter that I created for my friend. And I did share it on a previous video last night, but the lighting wasn't really good. And I was doing it one-handed, so I thought, no, I need to do this right. So I will share with you uh, in closer detail or get a closer look at what's inside my typewriter. And the way I think when I'm when I am putting together something, how I think. Like for me, this box is like a card kit. So when I'm putting it together, I um I'll show you the lid close up because I can take it off. And there's the lantern. And the lantern's not glued on or anything. Uh, it just sits on top. But she could um, glue it on when she gets it home or whatever. I did attach it with a small lobster claw clasp because... Um, oh, it's stuck right there. Because I don't want it to get lost. So I just attached it. It's not really a permanent thing there. Uh, but just so it wouldn't get lost. And then, of course, here's that little light that you tuck... Uh, inside the 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 lamp seat has a little hole and you would just tuck the little light inside I, I'm told that you can cut these and as short as you want them and they would still work but I haven't tried it the lights so I haven't tried it um, so I'm not sure and on here I added just a variety of, of like I made this one uh, my friend Carolyn made me this one this little bird is a little find that I've had in my stash. Um, not the little bird. The little nest is a little find I had in my stash a long time ago. Probably picked it up at a thrift store or something. Had the little blue eggs. And then I bought these little tiny birds because I knew I was going to create this box that had the blue papers. And then here are some roses gifted to me by my friend Carolyn. This one was created by Carolyn as well. And then this is a, the little spray that I created myself with the blue lamp paper. So I have like a couple of roses, a teeny tiny butterfly, a bigger butterfly, and then a rosebud. And then here is that shaker that I created. And uh, this is the piece that uh, where you turn the light on. So there's blinking. Then it's... A slower blink and then it's a steady so you have three different modes on this light now if I had given it more thought I probably would have punctured a hole all the way down um, that way I could insert the lights through the bottom so if anybody's thinking of doing that uh, one way to do it would definitely be to um, puncture a hole on the lid that way uh, you could feed the string of lights through the bottom because the 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 lights are very, very small. So I want to share with you what is inside uh, the box. And I'm just going to start taking things out and taking them out of the package so you guys can see what I have in here. In this one, I created a sequin mix last year or the year before. I'm not really sure. And I had made my own little candy canes out of clay and my own little peppermint. So there's blue candy canes and peppermints in this here's one of the little candy canes way on top and then it, this is all a winter this is like a christmas mix but because it's got all those shades of blue i felt that it matched perfectly with um and there's plenty in here for her to do several shakers i think i was in frame yeah and then these flowers are something that i had in my stash and I've been going through my stuff, and I have a lot of things, a lot of flowers, a lot of different things. This is one that I had, like, an abundance of. And uh, I was going to uh, just bless somebody with them. And then I remembered that I was working on her typewriter, so I kind of pulled these out and put them aside to go in her typewriter because this shade of blue is in the typewriter. So I gave her, you know, a little, a uh, couple of little, like, three little bunches to go in her in her box and then here is the little spoon that I just altered as far as I didn't do really anything I just added some uh, I did some bead wrapping I added a um, 
a little snowflake. I would have loved to have a butterfly or something else or a little bird, but I didn't have them. But I'm going to Hobby Lobby today. Maybe I'll find something. And it's really hard because they're silver. So I don't want to add a gold tone butterfly or a gold tone bird. So anyway, this was just a new one that I had because every time I would order a seal, they would send me the spoon. And so I had extra. So I just kind of altered this for her a little bit. And um, here is another one of those shakers. And she had sent me these garment pins. So this is a shaker, and it's shaped like a, um, like an oval. To me, it looks like a clock or a pocket watch, but it is oval. And the dies that I used are these, and they came from, um, you know, that place. I don't have a link to them, but that's where these are from. And so you get three different sizes, and you get the, here, mine are open. I'll share mine with you. You get the three different sizes, and you also get the the part to make them into shakers. So, for example, here's the largest one. It's pretty big. It measures like five and a quarter from top to the from the bottom of the oval to the top of the little uh, loop right here. So it's five and a quarter inches tall, the biggest one. And then it comes with the oval to turn it into a shaker. And same thing with the medium size. You get the, the main frame die and then you get the the oval to make them into, and there's the small one, to make them into uh, shakers. So I did have a play with mine so I could create a couple of them for her. But I didn't do much with it. I only did a couple. And then this is another thing that I had an abundance of. And these are just some silver beaded uh, pearls. And it, it is a strand. And I have gifted Jackie some before in other colors. Uh, but I used to own a shop where um, it was called Party Center. And we had all kinds of things for whether it was the plates and the cups and all of that. But we also had things that people would could create their own centerpieces or just whatever they were celebrating. They could create different things. So I had an abundance of these pearls. And I was put them, these in the giveaway box that I'm, while I'm cleaning out my room, then I remembered I had put them there. So I thought these will match perfectly with that typewriter because silver is my um, accent color for this project. So I thought I would send them to her. I don't know if she has some, she might or might not, but now she's got more. And then this is the bird seal. That I'm sending her. I hope you can make it out. Uh, I might actually have one. That I did. And I didn't do anything with it. Let me see if I can find it really quick. That way you guys can have a look at it. No. I don't know what I did with it. I thought I had it right here with my other wax seals. But I don't. Uh, it's very pretty. It is a square. And it has the little bird on there. So I'm sending her that. And then I um, I kind of just cut apart. And I'll take the, some of these out. Because I can put them back in there. I kind of cut apart uh, some panels from some craft colored paper. And I use my Tim Holtz. Uh, no, I don't think it's Tim Holtz. I'll share it with you. It is. It might be. No, it's just a Sizzix. The 3D uh, jewel snowflake embossing folder. That's what I use to do the snowflakes on here. Although the paper isn't very thick, you can still see the snowflakes very clear. I think the thicker the paper, the better impression you get. So that's one of the ones that I used on there. And then I did some with the wood grain, which is this one right there. Look at how beautiful that one looks. I hope I'm in frame. Look at how beautiful the wood grain on this one is. And that is a Tim Holtz, I believe. And it is also the 3D embossing folder. I think this one's a Tim Holtz. And look at how beautiful that is because there's a lot of wood grain going on in the paper pad. And there is also, um, there's wood grain going on in the paper pad. And there is snow. So I didn't really do it Christmas, but I did snowflakes. And so I just kind of put these together in a pack. And then these are all the cut-aparts 
from the paper pad that I kind of set aside because I didn't want to uh, cut them up because I wanted to uh, put them in here so she could make um, she's a, more of a card maker not just a card maker but she does make a lot of cards so the intention of this typewriter is whenever I do them I always do them uh, for card kits but I love the way I had a scrap piece of um, craft colored paper I put it in through my crimper and just made a belly band I had it one of those acrylic snowflakes that I've had for years and years Dollar Tree always has these and I buy them every year because I incorporate them into my projects and then I just fussy cut one of the little butterflies from the paper pad and I glued it there and I love uh, the presentation like it's so simple but it's very pretty so that was another thing that was in there okay these are the ones I wanted to open up because I wanted to share with you the snowflake so I did a bunch of the the cut aparts from the paper pad the circles uh, well not a bunch I only did about four but I have more of uh, the cut aparts that go into the that go with the paper pad and then here's another one of those acrylic snowflakes I kind of just put it in there she can cut it up and tuck it in here and there and then here are the die cuts that I did to go with the circle with the circle um, die cuts images and then here is that beautiful snowflake by Brenda Walton and it is a Sizzix and I don't I believe it's retired now but I have this paper that has like some kind of coating in the back and it's very, very difficult to cut it with my thin uh, dies but this is a a one of the bigs, the thick die. So I was able to cut right through this. And look at the sparkle on this. I hope you can see it. It's very sparkly. So I thought she could make uh, card toppers with these. So that's why I added these here. I think there's only four because I only did four of each. So that's one of the other things that I'm sending her. So if she was making a card, she could definitely use one as a card topper. So that's the what I the plans I had for that. What else is in here? And I had I made these a while back for I don't remember for who. Some happy mail or something. And um Jackie liked the envelope. And so did my friend Sabrina. Sabrina, they're here now. Um I believe this is the one you asked me for. Um, anyway, I picked some up for some of my friends. Jackie was one of them. So there is the envelope die with the layer. I use it to layer, to give it a layer on the inside. And then I had these wax seals that match perfectly with the paper line. The color is perfect, so she could use, there's her wax stamp. Here's her wax beads, and here's her little wax spoon. So I wanted to give her the whole complete thing. If, In case she didn't have it, I don't know if she does or if she doesn't, but now she does. And then on the inside of the drawer, I created these little butterfly picks. And the only thing I wish I had done different is that I had used silver instead of the gold wiring, but they're very dainty. And this is what I have on her, the top of her typewriter, but the other one has roses. This one's just a spray of butterflies. This makes a very beautiful embellishment, guys, if you're gifting somebody Happy Mail. And I used a punch to do these and just did a couple layers, did some beautiful uh, teeny tiny uh, gems in the center. And I added the diamond dust all over the wings and they sparkle like crazy. Not sure if you can pick it up, but I'll move it around a little bit so you can hopefully see it. So that's another thing. And my friend Jackie has a lot of lace, but I'm not sure if she has this lace. And this is the trim that I used on her typewriter. And in case Jackie wants to add a little bit more, because I'm okay that if she wants to add more lace or whatever she wants to do, because it's hers. It's going to sit in her craft room, and I want her to like it. So in case she feels like it needs more lace, because Jackie loves lace, I wanted to make sure she had the exact same lace and pearl trim that I had used. That way it all matches, and she's not having trouble with that. 
and then I had some tag cut aparts from the paper that I fussy cut and just added a paper clip and so that's going to her this is what's in the drawer and then I created her some of the buttons of the images that are on the paper I had my daughter Abby downsize them into circles so I could make her some flare buttons and I believe these are either an inch or an inch and a quarter I want to say an inch uh, maybe about an inch and a quarter sometimes when you get it you make them really really small you can't really see the image and I think that's why I went with an inch and a quarter on my machine so that is all that is in the typewriter guys that's all I wanted to share with you guys that way you got a, a close look at uh, what was really inside the typewriter because I know I didn't do a good job last night when I was recording one it was late and it was already dark outside and two you know the shadow of uh, me standing in front of the light because I had to have the light on to be able to record and right now it's natural light um, so I was able to do it and share it with you and now I have my two hands I'm not showing the typewriter and I still have to cut more of these but these are the branches from Heartfelt Creations, um, what is it called? Birds in Bloom, I think. And I did emboss these through my Tim Holtz embossing folder because I don't have the stamp to it. But I thought, well, I'll emboss it with the wood grain. That way it looks like a real tree branch. And I love the results. So just kind of giving my friend Jackie an idea. That's what I did with it because she doesn't have the stamp either. She has the die, but not the stamp if I'm not mistaken. So we can still use it regardless whether we have the stamp or not. Anyway, guys, that is all that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully I did a better job today for you. I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless. Bye.